Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Security 60, a budget-friendly yet very capable alternative to a TS100 style soldering iron. In this quick video, I'm going to go over its features and specs and show you how to use it. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box you can find the main unit of the soldering iron, a single soldering iron tip according to your preference, the user manual, some stickers, a small stand including a sponge, a 1.5mm sex key and screws for securing the soldering iron tip, a USB-C to 5.5 by 2.5mm barrel connector, and a 1m long cable where on one end you can find a barrel connector and on the other one an XT60 battery connector. In terms of specs, the supported DC input voltage is between 12 to 24 volts, so even though it features a USB Type-C connector, you can power the soldering iron using a power bank, even if it supports quick charge. In addition, the maximum power of 60 watts can be achieved when supplying the soldering iron with 24 volts, and it's going to take between 13 seconds to 100 seconds for the soldering iron to heat up to 280 degrees Celsius, depending on the operating voltage. The Security 60 also features a built-in accelerometer, and the maximum temperature can be set to 400 degrees Celsius. You should note that the Security 60 is available in two versions. I've got the T60B version, which is the more expensive out of the two, and equipped with a digital tube display, which will enable you to set the temperature between 100 and 400 degrees Celsius in 1 degree increments, and also will enable you to set the sleep timer. The second version is the D60A, which is equipped with 3 LEDs that indicate the temperature, and will only enable you to set the temperature to either 280, 350, or 400 degrees Celsius. Before powering the Secure D60, you need to connect the soldering tip and secure it by pulling the rubber cover and secure the two side hex screws. Now using the provided cables and connectors, we can power the D60. Over here you can see its temperature, and currently the soldering tip is not heating up. Long pressing button B is going to enable you to set one of the three available options. If you'd like to change an option, short press button A, and if you'd like to save it, you can either wait for 3 seconds, or press buttons A and B together. The first option, which is by default set to 10 minutes, is the sleep timer. You can set it to in between 1 to 30 minutes, and in case you are not going to move the soldering iron for this set amount of time, it's going to enter sleep mode, and the temperature is going to be set to 100 degrees Celsius. After entering sleep mode, you have 5 minutes to resume normal operation by shaking the soldering iron, otherwise it is going to automatically shut down, and you will need to reconnect the power supply in order to use it again. The second option, which is by default set to zero, will enable you to calibrate the temperature of the soldering iron by setting the compensation value between minus 50 to 50 degrees Celsius. And the last option will enable you to set the temperature of the soldering iron between 100 and 400 degrees Celsius. Finally, long pressing button A will start the heating operation, and in case you would like to stop it, you can either disconnect the power supply or long press together buttons A and B. So overall, after my not very extended period of using the Secure D60B, I can tell you that it offers a decent and budget-friendly solution for on-the-go fixes, however, I wouldn't advise on getting it as your main soldering iron, as according to my experience, after between 5 to 10 minutes, the PCB gets hot, and it will require you to turn off the soldering iron and wait, in order for it to cool down. As for the two available models, I recommend to go with the more expensive one, because for a few extra dollars you are getting a more precise temperature control, and you'll be able to set the sleep timer to less than 10 minutes. And actually, if you can afford it, I recommend to go with this TS100 style soldering iron, as it features a more compact form factor, and it will also enable you to monitor the battery input voltage and set its cutoff value. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the Secure D60B soldering iron. I would like to remind you that I'm giving two of the soldering irons away, so if you're interested, you can check out the giveaway over here. And as always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.